When you think about the first time that we met, what do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember being on a shit ton of mushrooms <laughs> and being <laughs> 21 years old. And I remember you dropping down on, on your knees in front of me and grabbing my waist and me being in total shock at who was this guy and you just being really cute and total magic. Just, um, I remember being so blown away by who you were and what I saw you to be in such a quick moment of time that it seemed that the facts of our meeting in the words of Brock Travis were completely inconsequential to the amount of feeling that I felt in the moment and that I needed to pay attention and I did. And then I remember knowing I was moving out to Atlanta five days later after meeting you. <laughs> Am I the best sex you've ever had? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that just blew me away about you, and still continues to just blow me away about you, is what an amazingly erotic and sexual human being you are. You are the sexiest, most profound lover I have ever met. What are you scared to tell me? If I'm scared of something to tell you, it's kind of like the signal that I need to tell you something. <laughs> oh, there's one thing I can think of. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> I snuck back and got those lights <laughs> So pretty. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, our home's gonna be beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's totally in the budget. <laughs> Do you think I'm ready to be a parent? Why or why not? <sighs> There's not an aspect of it that I don't see you not ready to embrace, whether it's listening whether it's admitting that maybe you didn't do something quite right and trying to do it better next time, whether it's just making sure that this child feels so unconditionally loved and supported. There's not an aspect of parenting that I don't feel like if you don't already innately have inside of your being that you aren't ready to just ebb and flow into. So yeah, I think you're ready to be a parent. What scares you the most about being a mother? Hmm. Um, that somehow I can recreate somehow I would be capable of recreating anything close to the dynamic that I have with my mother. That somehow, you know, through whatever interaction that I could have a child that didn't want to be close to me when they reached adulthood or when they gained an independent mind. And I'm so ashamed about how I feel about my mom that it's so scary to think of the child that could ever feel that way about me. How do you feel about coming secondary to the baby? Should there be some kind of a physiological change that happens from hormones and oxytocin flooding and everything else that you just, your center, the center of your world does in fact become this baby? Yeah, I'll definitely feel sad and a little bit left out and 
um, not quite as much the center of your world. And we have been through so much. And I know that we will get back to this. Maybe it's three months, maybe it's six months, maybe it's a year. But we know how to climb back up this hill and get back here. And I'll do that as many times as I have to. You're the most important person in the world to me.